by Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. That's right. You guys vote for the inventor's dream. You vote thumbs up or thumbs down. If you like it, they succeed. If you don't, they don't. That's as simple as that on My Cool Inventions. I'm your host, ACOS Jankira, co hosting <laughs> Andrew Jankira. Oh, wow. wait, wait, that was physician, chef, and, and bitch man. All in one. I'm the solutionist, but they're they're struggling with your title. That's all right. <laughs> it's like, like, funky jazz titles. chef would probably do the job for you. <laughs> We're experts in products, and uh, we've been on television for many years. Uh, I've been uh, I've been associated with a lot of selling over a 20-year career. And, uh, and let me tell you something. We see some good products. We see some bad products. But we see a lot of different products over the last almost oh, yeah. seven years. And let me tell you something. The last guy who was here, we had him the inventor. Right. The uh, toothbrush thing. Winston. With, yeah. yeah, Winston Lar. Okay, right. he had something called Time to Brush. Now, this guy's pitch was, it was about a kid's product, how to encourage children to, to brush longer, uh, brush properly. There's the Time to Brush picture. I'll just yeah. throw that up for you guys. And so, um, what I want you to do is I'm going to tell you how you guys voted. But before I tell you how you voted, let's listen to Winston pitch on the Time to Brush. I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Introducing Time to Brush Complete Dental Station, designed to teach your children proper dental hygiene at an early age. Good brushing habits established early in life can prevent tooth and gum issues later in life. The two-minute animated video shows and allows children to follow along for the right amount of time to get all the areas of the mouth. They can learn in English, French, or Spanish. An inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You can only make millions. Well, Andrew, you've heard the pitch. Yep. What say you? Um, I don't think I didn't give it a thumbs up. No? What does uh, that mean? Does that mean the thumbs neutral or thumbs, thumbs down? Thumbs was down. Thumbs down. Thumbs, Andrew know. gave it a thumbs down. And let me tell you something. You voted. Listen to the vote result. 33% got thumbs up, which means 67% of you voted against it. Wow. That's right. Sometimes you guys crush the dreams. Sometimes you vote <laughs> thumbs down. And sometimes you vote <laughs> thumbs up. Well, that's, I'll tell you that product, I think, where, where it doesn't resonate. Um, like you know, I get the idea of the video. And I like the thing. That, um, I think if, for a very young child, it probably would work out. I would have liked to have seen that video in color. Yes, that's probably something I would have liked to have seen that color in color. It was an animation. It was in black and white. I don't know how much it costs to put that in color. But that was caught my eye that I think, I think it's a little bit old school that way. And I think uh, uh, color would have been better on that. However, that's, uh, that's what happens here on My Cool Ventures. You guys vote thumbs up or thumbs down. And today, we have another inventor. Uh, I want to make sure I got mm. this name right. Uh, Eugene, Eugene Tarno. Have I got that right, uh, Tony? Eugene Tarno, no? Tony. Tarhow. Tarhow. Oh, okay, H, okay, H Tar not an N. Tarhow, and he's got an invention called the shoe leash. Now, Andrew, uh, this thing, uh, okay. we were kind of looking at it when we walked in. We go, what is this? I don't understand what it is. Tony did a quick demonstration. I think this is uh, <laughs> where I'm getting to, where I can hardly bend over in the morning the to put on my shoes. And I think <laughs> Eugene has come up with the, uh, an invention called the shoe leash that solves you from having to bend over to put on your shoes. With no further ado, let's get Eugene on the program here. Eugene, welcome to my cool inventions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Akos and Andrew. So, so listen, uh, where, are you, where are you from, Eugene? Where are you calling in from? I am calling in from uh, the French Riviera, somewhere between Khan and East. Little town called Khan sur mer Tony, help me out there. Uh, he's calling in from the French Riviera. 
The French Riviera in France? Oh, my goodness gracious. The French <laughs> Riviera. Wow. So why don't we see sand and, and, and you know, water and, you know, other French Riviera things behind you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and, and the French women, right? Yeah, well, I wasn't going to say that out loud. That was implied, Eugene. <laughs> my video is not good enough to, to, to display everything in my face at the same time. Oh, okay. okay. So Eugene's calling in from the French Riviera. He's the inventor of the shoe leash. Uh, Eugene, tell everybody, what is a shoe leash? Uh, the shoe leash, I invented it because once or twice a year I would get a back spasm. And then I would have an incredibly hard time bending down. And then after that, even if I, when I got better, I started to think, why am I bending down to put on my shoes? And I said to myself, there's got to be a better way. So I invented the shoe leash. And uh, what it does is it pulls on the tongue while you put on your shoe uh, so that you can, you know, put your foot in there without uh, the tongue scrunching up uh, in, in, into the shoe. I also okay. invented it because I have a kid who's, you know, seven years old, and when he was younger, when he was around four, he would put his foot, uh, uh, he would put his foot into the shoe, and then he didn't really care what happened to the tongue, and the tongue would always be all scrunched up in front of the shoe. I said there got to be a better way. All right. And so, so this is not only for people who can't bend down, but it's also for people children, like children, young, kids. Huh? Yeah. yeah, so it's a shoe leash. Now, if you have this in your hand, I'm going to describe it to all our radio listeners here. Uh, it's kind of like uh, one of those clip devices, Andrew. You put your uh, credentials, you know, when you got a, yeah. like a, like a like a door pass or a door security system. So you pull it out and goes in. You pull it out and goes in. It's like my Evine security thing. But instead of having the badge on it, he's got some sort of a, a hook, on, sort of a loop on here. Yeah. So I guess you clip it on. This clips onto your shoe. And then you pull it up. I like in the video what I saw where he he just let the shoe go. The shoe dog, yeah, it's like it a shoe yo-yo. Yeah, it went like down there. And then he's got this stick thing here, which is like a shoehorn, a proper shoehorn. Yeah. And then he, I guess the shoe uh, tongue is uh, captured. And then you can put your foot into it with the with the with the shoehorn, and then you're done and dusted. Yeah. So that's kind of the shoe leash invention. So so uh, you say you you say it's for children also. So how did you hear of my cool inventions? You're calling from the French Riviera. So so how did you hear of our show? Oh, I see it, uh, you know, all over the place here. Yeah. It's on every billboard around here. <laughs> well, that's Tony. We let him loose over there. You know, next thing yeah, you know, you know. billboards. Uh, I can only imagine what's on the billboards. I have no, no one. I, mean, I think that would be kind of, kind of, you know, weird to see Tony's billboards. But I'm, I'm glad you took notice, Eugene, and, and uh, here you are on my cool inventions. So, do you actually live in the French Riviera, or are you just visiting? No, no, I live in New Jersey. You live in Jersey. Well, in you Jersey. got the. I tell you something. You, you've got the right thing going on. You're like Benjamin Franklin, right? Uh, you know, he's out there in, in the French Riviera, living it up. That's fantastic on there. So tell <laughs> me, what's the like? Tell everybody, what's the French Riviera like? It's extremely pleasant. It, it, it's sort of like San Diego, but it's like different. So there's more okay. cultural things to do here, but then you know, San Diego has more interesting nature. <laughs> So you say it's like San Diego, all right? Now, I've been to the French Riviera, and I've been to San Diego, okay? Uh, the French Riviera, I was looking over the water there, and there was like these billion-dollar yachts everywhere. <laughs> and, of course, I was walking down the sandy beach, and I've been on the sand, you know, and I'm going to tell you something there, if you know, very beautiful things on the beach. Uh, and it, I don't find it like San Diego, uh, Eugene. Uh, so so uh, I guess the water is the same. <laughs> I don't see the billion-dollar yachts the same. Um, there, Andrew, I went there for the uh, Electronic Retailing Association. Oh, okay. once. You know, they have the it, the European uh, uh, show, yep. and they move it around. Though sometimes it's in uh, uh, French Riviera, sometimes it's in uh, um, uh, Spain. Bar I think Barcelona, Barcelona was the okay, last cool. June one in Barcelona. So you got to bounce that around. All right. So so Eugene, um, you've got this. Have you ever sold these things? Have you are you are you selling the shoe leash to somebody? My goodness gracious, you've had it on the web for three weeks and you've wow. sold 130 of them. Wow, what's your website? Yeah. What, what, what's the website called? Uh, shoelish.com. Shoe the guy's got shoelish.com also. Wow. 
No wonder the guy's selling on the web. He's got a great website. Okay. So, Eugene, what do you do for a living when you're not on the French Riviera enjoying the sights uh, and, you know, just chilling out? I'm a data scientist. And uh, uh, I actually I do, you know, different things. But one of them is uh, I'm a data scientist. And I uh, look at numbers all day. Oh, a data scientist. Ah, I know. My son's an analyst. I mean, he buries himself in the numbers all the time. You know, that's what he does. And my dad is a mathematician. And our fathers are a mathematician. Yes. So we've been we've been we've been uh, we've been surrounded by you know people who are scientists of data all the time. My dad got a degree in uh, statistics. I took one course in statistics in university. I went, Are you kidding me? You did this for five, four, five years. There's no way I can do this past this semester. Never mind get a get a whole course out of it. So I admire you for that. So what we're going to do, Eugene, after the break, we're going to get you back here. We're going to get you doing a pitch. You're going to do a 60 second pitch after the break. And then what we're going to do is we're going to vote. We're going to vote thumbs up or thumbs down. You better be careful, Eugene. The the, the crowds today are a little bit nasty. Like the last, I guess the last inventor up here didn't fare well. So you got to do a really good pitch. Everybody who's going to vote, you go to mycoolinventions.com. That's mycoolinventions.com. You hit the vote button and you vote thumbs up or thumbs down. You can do it on MyCoolInventions.com. I believe the boys put the, uh, the polling survey up on Facebook also. So if you're on the Facebook stream right now, you'll be able to vote there. And if you're on the Facebook stream, say hello. I see yeah. all you out there. I see Jeannie Atwell there. I see old oh, Steve Warpal on there. The Glad guys uh, are up there for you too. So say hello on the Facebook stream. In the meantime, get ready to vote for Eugene. After the break, we're going to pay a few bills, come back, and we're going to put Eugene to the test. We're going to get him to give his 60 second pitch. And if if you're an inventor, if you'd like to be on this program, even the French Riviera, what you do is you go to mycoolinventions.com and hit the submit button. Answer a few questions. It never costs anything to be on our program, so submit and get all the advertising for free. Who knows, maybe you have the next $100 million idea. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99. But today only on The Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. We're always throwing those used dead batteries away. That can get pricey. And battery rechargers are big and bulky. How do we get around this problem? Hi, I'll make us the solutions to tell you that most people have a USB port and we have USB rechargeable batteries. That's right, plug the USB AA batteries into any USB port and recharge them. It even lets you know with an LED indicator the status of the charge and there's a present voltage control circuit to prevent overcharging. The USB batteries can be charged up to 500 times. Now that's a lot of charges. Get these incredible USB rechargeable batteries and have charged batteries whenever you need them. Normally the USB battery sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the USB batteries are only $15.99, and you buy one, get one free, get two batteries. Click on mycoolgadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490, one 877 490 order now. You're out at night and you need some light. You didn't take a big flashlight, so now what are you going to do? Now that is a problem, but I have the answer. Hi, I'll make us the solutionist with the Next Torch. It's the small thumb light you can put in your pocket. The Next Torch has a special white LED that is gentle to the eyes and has a reach of over 15 feet. Unlike other small light, this one even has a stand that lets you rotate the light 360 degrees. It also has a magnetic bottom plate, a bungee cord, a carabiner, which offers you countless ways to use your light. On the hood of your car, bungee to a tree limb, or just attach it to your jacket. It truly is the perfect pocket utility lantern. 
Normally the next torch sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, we have it for $19.75. Go to mycoolgadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. While driving, where do you put your phone or GPS in the car? On your lap? In the hand? On the dashboard? Not good choices when driving. That's really dangerous. But not anymore. Hi, I'm make Costa Solutions with the perfect solution to that problem. The Michaela Car Charger and Phone Holder. This fashionable stainless steel charger is designed to reduce the space it occupies. It even has an emergency glass breaker. Plus, it has two USB chargers so you can charge two devices simultaneously. The phone holder is uniquely designed so it easily installs on any air vent. Your phone is held with a magnet to give you 360 degree rotation. Turn it to the exact location that's best for you. It even comes with a 2-in-1 cable for Android or iPhone. The Michaela is the perfect solution. Normally Michaela sells for $59.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $29.75. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. We have Eugene Tarho all the way from the French Riviera. I think he wow. said he lives in New Jersey. He must be over there doing a little French Riviera business up there. It's kind of a beautiful place in the world. Let me tell you something. The way the mountain comes down yep. onto the water there, it's actually a very beautiful place. And he's invented the shoe leash. Now, the shoe leash uh, is kind of a system where you have a big shoehorn, which is not the shoe leash part, but you've got two of these uh, sort of rings that you can connect to the tongue of your shoe. And so you can pull up, so you don't have to bend over, right. and then it holds the tongue of the shoe in place while you slip your foot in there. And of course, with the uh, the shoehorn, that's what they call that, right? Yep. Shoehorn, you slip your <laughs> shoe, foot in there, you don't have to bend over. Also ideal for the children who like to jam their foot in there and shove the shoe, the leash, leash, yeah, the, the, the tongue, tongue of the shoe. So what do you think, what's, so what's your, what's your gut feel on this thing? I don't know. I gotta, so far, we haven't heard So far, I gotta yet. be sold. I gotta be sold on this one, I think. So you're unsold, you need to be sold. So yeah. Andrew's sitting on the fence, he needs to have a really great pitch to win him over. So, in order to get a really great pitch, let's get Eugene back on the program because what we're going to do with Eugene is we're going to give him 60 seconds to pitch it. He's going to give us 60 hot seconds to pitch, try to win us over, and we're going to vote by going to mycoolinventions.com It's mycoolinventions.com That's where the voting platform is. I noticed on the Facebook it's already up. Right after you hear the pitch, you can actually go vote there. It's a above or below of the live streaming video here. Andrew's playing with it, trying to figure it out. In the meantime, Eugene, are you ready to give us your best 60-second pitch? Absolutely. All the way from the French Riviera, ladies and gentlemen, Eugene Tarho with his Shuley's pitch. Let's do it. Do you have any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. When you put on your shoes, you have to bend down. I don't like bending down, so I invented the shoe leash and shoe leash are hot. It keeps control of your shoes just like a dog leash keeps control of your dog. You attach the shoe leash to the trunk of your shoes and store the shoes on the shelf. When you want to put the shoes on, you take hold of a shoe leash and drop the shoe down onto the floor. With a long shoe horn, you can then put on your shoe without bending down, still pulling on the tongue of that shoe. When you want to put the shoe back on the shelf, you flip the shoe onto the hook and, and pull up the shoe leash and the shoe comes with it. It works with most shoes, including lace up shoes. The shoe leash probably prevents back pads. The fewer times you bend down, the fewer back pads. Order it from shoelace.com. You should buy it at shoelace.com if you can't use most shoes because you can't bend down. If you're pregnant and have our time bending down, you're prone to back pads. And why bend down if you don't need Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. Well, you heard the pitch. Now it's time to vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com to vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Andrew Jankura, musician, product developer, funky <laughs> jazz chef. What say you about the shoe leash? I don't, I'm still on the fence. I got to think about it still. But the only thing is, the reason I'm thinking about it because uh, I don't know how much it is. 
That's right. He left out the price, Eugene. You tried to close the deal. You sent us to the website, but you did not tell us how much it is. Or if you did, we missed it. How much is it? Okay. So today, you guys, you guys get it special for the next two hours. Otherwise, it's fifty bucks. For the next two hours, we get a special, but otherwise it's fifty dollars. He's like a really good politician. I don't think he gave us the price yet. At, yet. So, what is the no, special? I'm what so is confused. the special price? You have to click on the credit card. I have to go to your website. I have to go to the checkout process to find out how much yes, it's yes. costing me. Yes, because uh, uh, I have an agreement with the reseller. Oh, you have an agreement. So the price is so low, he cannot say the price live oh. on air. I see. All right. Yeah. But the first, that's the first inventor we've ever had here in seven years to have that tactic. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. So I got to tell you something. What I don't like about the tactic is I'm, you know, I don't think, so it's $50 regularly, okay? Or I have to go to the website. I have to read about it. So, so let me just get some clarity. When I go to your website, will I see the price on shoelease.com? Or do I have to click through all the way to the checkout card page? All you have to do is you go to the website, and on the bottom there's a checkout. You click on the one button, and then you'll see the price. One button and then see, it's a it's a hidden secret price. It's okay. a super secret price. Super secret. Super secret price. Okay, so so I like what he said about the pregnant ladies. I know pregnant ladies have yeah. a hard time bending over. I have a hard time bending over. Me I've had, too. I've had uh, you know I've had uh, well you know we're working on that. So uh, I, yeah. I've had uh, back spasms before. I know my uh, my wife I guess my wife Celeste has back spasms. By the way, happy birthday, sweetheart! It's her birthday. She just texted me to make sure it was live on air, and I guess we are. It's your birthday tomorrow so happy right. birthday Celeste uh, so um, so Eugene so what you know what amazed me when you were talking is that you sold 107 of them online how did you uh, promote your shoelish.com to drive such great sales yeah I, I have other websites I have cost of doctors that tells, tells you how expensive doctors are and people go on that website and then they see uh, an ad for Shuley. I've also promoted it on Reddit and I'm also using Bing so you're so being Reddit and you've also cross promoted it on this other website. That's interesting. A cross promotion on the other website. We don't hear that too often. Yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, smart, so you're driving one thinking. website to drive to the other website. That is smart on there. So mm -hmm. how so how do you like Reddit? You're one of the first inventors I have on who has been on Reddit. So what like like what do you think about Reddit there, Eugene? I think it's a great platform, but not not necessarily for for things for old people. It's it's a younger audience. Okay. But it's, in terms of seeing what happens, you know, the, how many clicks you get and, and, and being able to segment uh, the population, it, it's great. So the young people are going to Reddit.com. Are you aware of that, Daniel? Okay, no, I don't. I didn't know that. So, so how do you, so Eugene? How did you like Reddit's not sort of in the in the vernacular usually to advertise on. So, so how did you come about to be on uh, Reddit? Oh, I, I talked to a marketing friend of mine, and he said that the cheapest advertisement was on Reddit. Really? Oh, okay. So it's the cheapest advertising board. So we learned something today. That's good. Everybody's going to go to Reddit and figure that out. And Bing. It's, and I'm interested you said Bing because a lot of us are busy advertising on Google or, or other platforms. How do you find Bing as an advertising vehicle? Uh, it's a little uh, unusual. It's not... It's, uh, what's good about it is that older people tend to be on Bing. And while Shoelix is made for older people, I also... You know, have other inventions that allows uh, allows you to use it for shoes on young people, but um, the thing is still unusual because it takes a long time for uh, for the index to be updated with your new website uh -huh. uh, information, and then it, it predicts that you're going to get this many clicks, and then you don't get that many clicks. Oh, I so, see. All you right. know, I, they need to fix thing, I guess. So what's but your in principle? It may be a good. Channel. So what's your goal with the shoelish.com? Do you want to sell it to somebody? you want to put it in retailers? What's the deal with this? Uh, I am uh, rolling it out to a reseller uh, next week. And uh, I, I, I guess preferably I would like to, to, uh, to uh, see if, I, if somebody wants it. And they say they can take care of it. So if you want to... And I have other... I have other inventions also. If you go to shoelish.com, you go all the way to the bottom, you click on a link, then it gets you to patent application for a sale. 
So, so you've got other inventions. So you're like a consummate inventor. You're a serial inventor, are you, Eugene? Awesome. Wow. So we got to check out your other cool. inventions. Make sure you put your uh, submit your other inventions to mycoolinventions.com. You you seem like an interesting fellow all the way in the French Riviera. Yeah. I I I'm, I read it and Bing. Those are those are terms that we actually overlook when we're trying to do our our marketing and advertising. It's yeah. great to hear that you're using those platforms and it's great to have you on the show. So thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, everybody go to shoeleash.com. That's exactly the way it sounds. Shoeleash L E A S H shoeleash.com and go take a look at the super secret price that Eugene has out there for us. Top maybe that, maybe it's a top secret top pricing. Secret. Top secret pricing is the way to go. Who knows? Then maybe that gets the interest. I've never yeah. thought of that. Maybe you're going to learn from Eugene here. Reddit and Bing, he's using those vehicles. And let's face it, let's everybody go vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com. Hit the vote button. Thumbs up or thumbs down for Eugene. All the way from the French Riviera. We've never had an inventor call in from there. And there he is right now on the My Cool Invention Network. Work, so everybody go vote. Problem, the matches are wet, lighters damp. How are you gonna start a fire? Solution, survival steel. This simple, brilliant device ensures that you can start a fire every time. Problem, the matches are wet, lighters damp. How are you gonna start a fire? Solution, survival steel. This simple, brilliant device ensures that you can start a fire every time, even in the rain or snow. It's safe, fast, it even could be a lifesaver. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and let me tell you about survival steel. It's made from cerium, which is one of the Earth's element, and it can make a spark hot enough to set a fire to almost anything. If you've ever needed to start a fire, survival steel will do the job under any conditions. Look at this. In the rain, dripping wet, or in the middle of a snowbank, survival steel starts a fire each and every time. This 3,000 degree spark isn't red hot, it's white hot. Survival steel is a necessary tool for all outdoorsmen. Normally, survival steel sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget. Buy one, get one free. Both for $19.99. Call 1 888 877 0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com.